Welcome back to the Daily BS. My name is Doug Larson. You can find us at barbellstrug.com. Got a question from Stephen or Stefan, however you like to be called on Twitter, asking about um, bruising on your collarbones after cleans. Wanting to know if that is a normal thing or not. Well, <laughs> it is pretty normal to get some bruising on your collarbones. Uh, you shouldn't get a huge bruise every single time, but definitely if you land right on the bone, you're going to get bruised. So, uh, your options. <laughs> Your options I look like this. I should normally catch the bar right here where the weight is above my collarbones. Right now it's sitting on my shoulders here and it's not really resting right on my collarbones. It's pretty close but it's not digging into the bone. So if you're right here, you can see it kind of just bumped over my collarbones as I drop my elbows. So if you're always catching kind of in this position where your elbows are down and they're kind of towards the middle like this or you're leaning back to catch it like that, it's more likely to land right on your collarbones and, and give you a big bruise. So, so elbows high, uh, if you can't pull it high enough, then you need to make sure that you are always squatting down um, enough. Actually, you know what? If I can only pull the clean, say this high, that means I need to squat to here to get it. If, if you're a person who, if you're a person who can, you can only pull the weight to a certain height and you're leaning back to catch it. If I pull the weight up and I go like this and I lean back to catch it, then you're again more likely to get bruising than if you simply squat all the way down to catch it. So if you can't quite power clean it and you're doing power cleans, just switch to full cleans or lighten the weight. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can adjust, you can adjust and play with your grip. If you don't have very much extra rotation, it might help you to, to narrow your grip up a little bit. If your grip's really wide like this, you're more likely to, to be leaning back and to have it sit right on my, uh, right on my collarbones. When, I, when my grip is more narrow, it's easier for me to get my hands closed and my elbows very high. Okay? So it's a little bit of a trade-off. It's a little bit of a trade-off there. When I'm wider, I don't have to jerk quite as high. When I'm more narrow, I'm going to have to throw the weight a little bit higher and there's a little more uh, travel on the barbell during the jerk. So you can kind of play with that, but it won't be right on your collarbones. Um, if you have a very big bruise on your collarbones, you can obviously do any amount of, of snatching or um, snatch pulls, snatch variations, and that will al allow you to train the Olympic lifts without kind of exacerbating that big bruise that you already have if you want it to go away. Uh, I know a lot of ladies are concerned about that. Um, you know, they'll, they'll be going on a, a date or something. They'll have a, a dress that shows their collarbones. They don't want a big purple uh, collarbone when they're uh, going out uh, for the evening and they're trying to look nice. So, uh, for ladies, um, if you have something like that coming up, you can avoid cleans and do more snatches for for a little while. You can do less front squatting where you're in a rack position and do more back squatting where it's on your back. And then obviously um, with the cleans, you can do less cleans where you're catching, less power cleans, less full cleans. You can do more clean deadlifts, clean pulls, uh, and clean high pulls. So you're still training the movement, training the same muscles in the same pattern, uh, but you're not uh, letting that bar slam into your collarbones quite as frequently. And then uh, as a result, you're less likely to have uh, big bruises on your collarbones. So, so play with your grip position, make sure your elbows are high enough, and then while you're healing up, do the other variations of the Olympic movements. Okay? Uh, if you have more questions, you can go to barbellshrug.com and click the Ask a Question tab at the top of the page. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter, at barbellshrug, or on Facebook, facebook.com slash barbellshrugpodcast. We'll see you another day. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to share it on your Facebook wall by clicking share, and then the Facebook icon, and then also like it. Thanks, Shrug Thugs.